Welcome back to New Session. This is your trainer, mentor and PMP coach Anand. This is continuation of scope management knowledge area. In this session, you will learn plan scope management process. Remember, going forward, all knowledge areas except stakeholder management starts with the planning processes. PMI ways of project management is plan the work and then work the plan. The learning objective of this session are, we'll start with overview understanding why plan scope management is required. We'll go through the plan scope management definition. We'll go through the input tools, techniques and output. And finally, we will talk about both plans yeah, what are the content of those plans, that is scope management plan and requirement management plan. And we'll do a quick review. As a part of planning, project manager will document details how to ensure delivery of product service or result. Also, he will document how to meet customer expectations. Now, details will include how scope will be defined, developed, monitored, controlled, and verified. If you are working on a small project, this looks unnecessary. As you precisely know the stakeholder, their expectations, and maybe you can easily document requirements and finalize the scope. However, think of a big project like implementing ERP system for a large organization. This may include understanding requirements related to product planning, material purchasing, inventory control, distribution, accounting, marketing, finance, HR, and so many other departments. In this case, you may need to elicit requirements from different department stakeholders. Department may be geographically distributed. Some of the key department stakeholder want traditional processes, and some of them want fully automated processes with least human intervention. So there will be different stakeholders with the contradicting requirements. Now think, can you plan or define scope of such a project by going with the flow yeah, with a normal process without proper planning? Answer is no. To deal with this, project manager and business analyst may analyze and understand the stakeholder, their needs and their expectation. You may plan customer journey mapping sessions, brainstorming session. BMA, shadow actual workers, your users, and then you can finalize your project requirement and agree on the scope with various stakeholders. Remember, earlier we talked about collaboration between project manager and business analysts work. So this is the example of it. Let's take a look at definition. Plan scope management is the process of creating a scope management plan that contains how the project scope will be defined, validated, and controlled. It provides a guidance and direction on how scope will be managed throughout the project lifecycle. Let's take a look at input, tools and techniques, and outputs. Inputs are project charter, project management plan, enterprise environmental factors, and OPA. Project Management Plan Component of project management plan that are relevant includes the development approach which might contain predictive, incremental, or adaptive agile approach, the project lifecycle description, and the quality management plan. The scope covers the completeness of the work, but quality, your quality management plan covers the correctness of the work. Project Charter, it provides the project context to plan the scope. The parts of Project Charter that are relevant to scope management are project purpose or justification, high-level project description, boundaries, high-level requirement, assumptions, and constraints in terms of budget, schedule, or any other related constraints. An organization's culture and infrastructure are among the factors that can affect the management of scope. 
organizational process assets, and organization's policies and procedures are important for any management plan. And the historical information and lesson learned repositories may help guide the development of a scope management plan. Now, this is similar in most of other planning processes. The tools and techniques used in plan scope management are expert judgment, data analysis, and meeting. Most of the planning processes has these three tools and techniques. Let's take a look into little more detail. Expert judgment. Those individuals that have experience on previous similar projects should be consulted in creating a scope management plan. For example, if some SME was previously involved in ERP project with a large organization, project manager can seek his expertise to plan the scope management plan. SME may explain or document what techniques can be used to capture the requirement, how business acceptance will be done for the project based upon the selected approach. Expert judgment can be provided by group or individual with a specialized education, knowledge or skill. For example, expert can be business SME, industry consultant or other project managers. Data analysis. A data analysis technique used in this process is alternative analysis. There may be more than one way to achieve a certain requirement. And after brainstorming, decision has to be taken about which alternative the project will pursue. And this is where alternative analysis helps project manager to reach agreement between various stakeholders. Meetings. As explained earlier, scoping exercise will involve many stakeholders and any decision making process requires a meeting. The people that should be attending meetings beside the project team, of course, are sponsor, selected stakeholder, and any other individuals who are responsible for scope management processes. Meetings may be conducted to discuss and agree on how the requirements will be prioritized, or discuss and agree business acceptance process with the business team. There are two outputs for this process, scope management plan and requirements management plan. These plan outline the all other processes in the scope management knowledge area. Scope management plan. Plan shows how the scope will be defined and developed in the executing process group and how it will be monitored, controlled, and validated in the monitoring and controlling process group. The components of scope management plan include the process for preparing a project scope statement as a part of defined scope process, the process for enabling the creation of work breakdown structure from the project scope statement. It establishes how WBS will be maintained and approved both as a part of create WBS process. The process of formally accepting the completed project deliverables as a part of validate scope and the process for approving and maintaining the scope baseline as a part of control scope. Requirements management plan. Let's start with understanding what is requirement. Requirement is a capability that is required in a product, service, or result to satisfy customer needs. Requirements management plan documents how the project requirements and the product requirements will be analyzed, documented, and managed. Most of the time, this is created by business analyst as this helps him to track the requirements. The component of requirement management plan includes the processes of planning requirements activities, the process of prioritizing requirements, product matrices that will be used and the rationale for using it, traceability of requirements so that team members can be identified to be responsible for certain requirements, list of attributes that will be captured on requirements traceability matrix, 
and who will be responsible for updating it throughout the project life cycle. The process of configuration management which tracks changes made in the requirements during the course of project. Now what is RTM? RTM, your requirement traceability matrix, is a grid that links the product requirement to deliverables that satisfy them. The requirements description will be linked to business needs, project objectives. It may also contain name of a stakeholder who gave that requirement. RTM helps you as a project manager as well as a business analyst to track requirements throughout the project life cycle. RTM is progressively updated and is a part of a project document. For example, when product is designed, requirements will be linked to the design elements or RTM will be updated marking requirements are already considered in the design. Good job. We have completed plan scope management process. Let's do a quick review. We learned importance of a scope management planning. We gone through the plan scope management process definition, understood role of expert judgment and meeting. We talked about contents of a different plans like what is inside scope management plan and what is inside requirements management plan. And finally, we learn about importance of requirement traceability matrix or RTM. See you in next session that is collect requirements process.